Okay, big show. You're seven foot tall, 440 pounds, which is nearly 32 stone. The I'm glad you finally told me that because everybody asks me, how many stone is that? I don't know, a lot? A few rocks? 31.4 stone. 31.4. He paid attention in school. Well, no, internet. Anyway, so <laughs> your WWE Worldwide traveling schedule must be hell on you. Do you charter private jets or your own vans to travel around? Uh, no. I uh, fly commercially and I rent cars in the States. No, uh, that's not cheap, No, no, not me. I like to save my cash. Yeah. You wait for a rainy day. Wait for a rainy day, yes. It's been claimed that when you were trying to become a wrestler that you could do a backflip moonsault. Oh, I did do that, yeah. Why have you ever busted that in the ring in front of the cameras? It because, you know, it's, um, uh, well, the first time I did it, I got yelled at for doing it. I got a phone call from Hulk Hogan, who's a good friend of mine, and said, you know, uh, have you lost your mind? Keep your feet on the ground, you'll have a longer career. And uh, I think, you know, when I was younger, I did drop kicks and all that stuff. And then as I've gotten older, I realized it's not the going up that scares me. It's the coming down and shattering like a porcelain vase. Right. So I think I'll just stay right where I am. Go easy on the knees, I suppose. Knees, the back, the head, the neck, you know, all the stuff that I might need later in life. Mm -hmm. Well, you've headlined WrestleMania. You've battled against the great and the good wrestling legends throughout WWE. You've held all the major championships and you've competed against sumo guys and yes. boxing superstars. What can possibly be your next dream program? Uh, I don't know. I'd like to have a lingerie match with Jessica Alba. That would be great. <laughs> Is that available? I don't know. Can you talk her into it for me? <laughs> Freddie Prince Jr. saw that out for you. I don't know. Freddie's pretty good. I don't know. He's pretty quick. So with Mayweather, you competed against him at WrestleMania. You yeah. had a feud beforehand. Was he pulling his punches at all? Um, he shattered my nose on live TV. I mean, granted, he was, you know, I think I've dated women that weighed more than him. But, uh, you know, he's an uh, extremely fast, and extremely competent boxer. Um, but, yeah, I wasn't going to go into a situation like that and um, take an easy way out. Sure, okay. You um, know, I, our fans pay to see me give 110%, and I just think that would have been shortchanging him. Okay. You know, for your impressions, um, a few years ago you did quite a few of Hulk Hogan. Yeah. Rikishi and people like that? Yes. Um, I'm guessing you can probably do a few of the guys backstage. Would you like to just... Oh, I, I, I've given up the impressions things. I mean, I, I, I really have. Uh, you charge for them now? Uh, it's not that I charge for them. I just kind of grew out of it. Um, I used to make fun of a lot of guys that I grew up watching. Um, you know, impersonation is the greatest form of flattery. You know, and I really don't care to flatter any of these bozos in the locker room. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, so that's my thing.